Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Case closed. Comey's destroyed evidence found proving what he hid before Trump's election. Disgraced former FBI Director James Comey once said, "Public corruption is the FBI's top criminal priority. The threat, which involves the corruption of local, state, and federally elected, appointed, or contracted officials, strikes at the heart of government." eroding public confidence and undermining the strength of our democracy. Yet in spite of his public words, his actions repeatedly make a mockery of his words lauding the supposed integrity of the Bureau, as layer upon layer of corruption is exposed finding Comey at the very heart of most of it. As many Americans are already aware, former Secretary of State and twice-failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton maintained a private email server in the basement of her home. On that private email server, Hillary chose to conduct the business of the United States in complete defiance of any known policy and procedure government classified information. What many Americans may not realize is that in June 2016 it was learned that untold thousands of Hillary's private emails many of which were considered classified had been hacked, not by Russians, but by the Chinese. Comey was still serving as director of the FBI at that time. Yet he failed to make any disclosure whatsoever regarding the national security breach to House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlatte when he asked Comey directly if China had breached Hillary's emails. Neither did Comey make any mention whatsoever of the Chinese hack during his public comments in which he chose to clear Hillary of any wrongdoing despite it clearly not being within the scope of his duties to do. What Comey and other top brass at the FBI chose to do was conceal that information in the five months leading up to the highly contentious presidential election in November 2016. Likewise, the FBI also chose not to investigate the national security breach, nor did it refer the case to the NSA, CIA, or any of the other appropriate agencies. What Comey chose to do instead defies comprehension. Rather than holding Hillary accountable for her willful actions in defiance of any known security protocol, Comey chose to strike immunity deals with Hillary and her aides to destroy their laptops directly following the FBI's probe. According to FBI sources, one of those laptops yielded significant intelligence breaches along with other probable attacks on Hillary's emails and private server over an extended period of time by state-backed Chinese hackers. Yet there was no special counsel appointment, no mass media hysteria, no by-the-moment Twitter tirades, no screams for impeachment, and seemingly no investigation either. As True Pundit reports, in return for the aide's cooperation, Comey and the DOJ agreed not to prosecute Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson based on any incriminating evidence contained on the laptops. They also agreed to destroy the evidence once the FBI had examined the computers. Comey could have simply subpoenaed the laptops or seized them with a search warrant, yet he did neither. Nor did the FBI ask for other electronic devices of Mills and Samuelson, sources said, like cell phones, tablets and office and homes computers. Comey's immunity deals to destroy the laptops, instead of preserving the evidence for future criminal cases that could likely arise, protected Hillary Clinton and aides from potential future criminal charges stemming from forensic review of the computers or any contents on the laptops. Like obstruction of justice or evidence tampering, Comey and the Justice Department struck the immunity deal on or about June 10, 2016, three weeks before Comey cleared Hillary Clinton of any criminal wrongdoing. And when House Judiciary Committee Chairman Goodlatte came calling shortly before the election seeking preservation of the aides' computers and asking questions on whether the Hillary-linked laptops had been breached by the Chinese, the laptops had already been destroyed, FBI sources said. There was quite literally nothing left to examine. Poof. Gone. Like it had never existed. Yet the FBI knew that if DID exist and Hillary's communications had been breached by the Chinese, thereby compromising U.S. national security. Despite this Comey, for reasons known only to him, never revealed that information to Good Latte or anyone else outside of the Bureau. Samuelson utilized two laptops made by Lenovo. Lenovo is a company directly tied to the Chinese government and sold for years with pre-installed malware on the computer specifically intended to be a state-sanctioned backdoor for Chinese hackers. This pre-installed malware was utilized and one of Samuelson's laptops was indeed compromises. That laptop was then destroyed by the FBI per the immunity agreement as neither Comey nor Hillary wanted this breach publicized. Due to this pre-installed malware, the State Department banned personnel from even using Lenovo products since 2006. Just a year prior to the FBI taking possession of the laptops from Hillary's aides, aides that were also attorneys in their own right mind you, Lenovo disclosed they had installed a program known as Superfish on over 40 different computer models. Among the models included, 
were the models employed by Samuelson for sorting through Hillary's classified and special access program, SAP, top secret, emails. Lenovo began installing Superfish in 2010 according to the Department of Homeland Security. DHS warned in February 2015, websites, such as banking and email, can be spoofed without a warning from the browser. The program has placed ads on computers but was easily used by hackers to attack the computer remotely. This was a known issue and yet Hillary and her State Department chose to use Lenovo products anyway almost as if they were daring the Chinese government to breach classified information. True Pundit reports that Goodlatte learned in October 2016 just weeks before the presidential election that Samuelson employed Lenovo laptops as part of her State Department-related work with Clinton. He fired off a letter to Comey, specifically inquiring whether the computers had been compromised by the Chinese. Goodlatte hedged that there was a strong possibility Secretary Clinton's emails were obtained by the Chinese government, the State Department, FBI or any other agency had redacted Top Secret and Special Access Program, SAP, information. Again, the FBI at the time of Goodlatte's letter, included in full below, had already confirmed the hack. But nobody in the FBI told Goodlatte or anyone else in Congress. That of course includes Comey who has since been fired and now tweets about the honesty and integrity of the FBI, especially during his tenure. Did then Attorney General Loretta Lynch know too? What will Goodlatte and other members of Congress do about it now, after they have been openly mocked by the FBI? Likely very little. Another cover-up but this time with the built-in security of immunity deals to destroy evidence of a national security hack by a communist power who obtained the most sensitive documents of the United States government and got away with it because Comey and the top brass at FBI wanted Hillary in the White House. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.